Number two, Jeff Godfrey, true freshman from Miami, Florida. One of the most highly touted recruits ever to come here to UCF. The all-time leading passer in Dade County history. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. Uh, the memories I have is, is basically uh, a rough memory from over time. Uh, this one from a uh, small place down in Miami. The memories there is good and bad. I mean, I think I have more good than, than bad memories, but the bad is really bad. Uh, such as like the killings and the shootings and, and everything that happened down there in overtime. But the good memories is, is just being a kid. I think my biggest challenge was adopting, adapting to where I came from, to where I went. Where I came from is rough, and you also and you always had to be tough. So when I went off to, to school, for example, to college, I had to adapt to that. And that was a big challenge for me because it was something new to me. Uh, I've never been outside of Miami. Uh, I've never been outside of Florida. So going to these places such as Texas, uh, Arizona, uh, Vegas, I had to adapt to that and, and, and really get adjusted to it. is the coach at the NFL level. Uh, I got a chance to experience that level uh, playing in the NFL and my dream is to, to, to be a coach on an NFL team. Right now I'm coaching uh, middle school and I think it's a tremendous job the way that coaching impacts kids' lives and that's something that I want to do. Me coming up from old time, I think a lot of kids know that football the football or basketball is a way out put a smile on kids face uh, to see the kids grow uh, from when they was yay high all the way up to when they're grown just to see them grow and see them learn so much and to to know what i offer them they're going to use in the future as they play in that sport or using life my mom's my biggest influence uh, seeing her struggle and the way she took care of us uh, there's four of us. I had two other brothers and a sister. My mom, she worked a double job. She did anything and everything to, to make sure that we had what we wanted. So ever since then, my mom was the biggest influence in my life. And she showed me that no matter what situation you're in, you also gotta, you always got to make the best of it. And that's, that's why she's a big influence in my life. The youth is missing positive role models. Uh, right now, we have a lot of a lot of kids and I wouldn't say kids, I, we have a lot of people that influence kids to do dumb and stupid things. Uh, the youth is missing the people that actually did something for the city and not went out and, and, and bragged about it or went out and, and did something about it every time they had a problem. I mean, when I was growing up, it's either you was going to fight or you are going to walk away from it. Nowadays, the youth have to where these people are killing and they're dying at a young age uh, so the youth is missing positive role models that are actually showing the right way instead of the wrong way uh, I was inspired by I would say Michael Vick seeing Michael Vick play football it, it inspired me to to want to play the position quarterback and it inspired me to want to help kids at that position as well uh, because of the things I learned from him and the things I learned from myself and my dad, um, I think he inspired me a lot to, to to actually play that position and get me where I am today. Uh, just to be open, man, open to, to new ideas and, and to listen more. I mean, when I was young, I was a little hard-headed kid. I didn't, I thought I knew everything. I thought I, knew, I thought I knew it all. Nobody couldn't tell me nothing. I knew I was born, I knew I was headed at, and I didn't want to listen to anybody. Uh, but as I grew up, my teenager stage, I, I started listening and started really seeing where I could go with, with everything I was doing. Michael Jordan said that I never lost a game, I just ran out of time. It's so true in my, in my perspective throughout 
in my life. I think I learned that quote when I was about 14 years old. And the quote is that I never lost a game. I just ran out of time by Michael Jordan. So you 